Hello again, it's Steve Grissetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide for Vegas Movie Studio Platinum and the MoviePicks.com Guide to DVD Architect. And here we are in Movie Studio Platinum. We have started a new project and now in order to create our movie, we need to gather our media into our project. Now I've selected the Project Media tab here in the upper left hand corner and I want to add my media then to my project so that I can then assemble it on my timeline. Now there are several ways to add media to your project uh, depending on where your media is but one principle is very important all of your media ultimately has to be on your computer hard drive. The reason why is because the program is not actually moving the media around when you add it to your project it is simply linking to it so if your media is on an external device say a camcorder and you link to that without actually moving the files from the camcorder to your hard drive when you unplug the camcorder that connection is broken so you do need to have all of your media files on your hard drive if your media files and those would include video still photos music any other audio effects or narration if those media files are already on your hard drive adding your media is very simple all you need to do is import that media into your project now in the upper left hand corner of the project media panel is an add media button uh, some modifications have been made to this in version 15 and I'll show you what I mean if I were to simply click this it's going to take me to a nice browse screen where I can find my media but let me show you something here to the right of that button is a down button and when I click on that new to version 15 I have access to a number of ways to get my media files from other sources and I'll demonstrate at least one of those here in just a moment but that said Assuming all of your media files are already on your hard drive, adding your media files is as simple as clicking on the Add Media button, browsing to your media files, say for instance this, these video files, and then clicking the Open button to import them into your project. But what if your media is still on another device? Say it's on your camcorder, on your phone, and you haven't yet moved the media files to your hard drive. Well, the program comes equipped with tools here to actually do that for you. Now some people prefer to just take the SD card out of their camcorder or connect the camcorder via USB and manually move the files over. I like using the tools that are built into the program. So if you go here to the arrow to the right of Add Media, you'll see a number of tools here. You can rip audio files directly from a CD. You can rip video files from a DVD. Now if you're using a commercial DVD that may not be possible. It may have some copy protection on it. But if your DVD was homemade or if it was shot on a DVD camcorder, this will get your video files from a DVD disc, a finalized DVD disc. Capture Video will open up a tool for capturing video from a tape-based camcorder. That's a mini DV and an HDV camcorder. Or if you have your video on an AVC HD camcorder or an ultra high definition camcorder that stores its media on an SD card or on the hard drive on the camcorder, you can select this option and it will open up the device explorer. Now I have a camcorder, my Canon AVC HD plugged into the computer via USB. It's set to VTR mode. And if I select it here in the device explorer, you can see the media files or the video files that are on that camcorder. I can preview any of these files by clicking on it and selecting play. There's the preview over there in the preview window. And then I can select any or all of these files. And when I select import selected clips, those media files will be copied over to my hard drive. Remember the media files have to be on your hard drive and simultaneously added to my project. So let me close the window and there they are now in my project. I like using those tools that make sure that you're getting the right files and that they're being imported into your program at the same time as they're being added to your hard drive. Um, you notice that whatever the last device you chose from this drop down menu that becomes the default selection here for add media. You can always set that back to the regular add media if you'd like. It's kind of neat that in version 15 Magix has taken all of those add media options and added them to a one-stop shop here in the upper left hand corner of the program. Now that we've got our media files into our project we can begin the process of editing which we're going to do in part three of our eight-part series basic training with Vegas Movie Studio Platinum.